Okay, Galapop. 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 What are you doing? Like for real? Hey beautiful people, my name is Destiny and welcome to my channel. So if this is the first time you are seeing my face, welcome! But well, I've seen this face before, how you day, how about the waiting day, happy. <laughs> so guys, from the title, you already know the drill, what this video is all about, right? So guys, so today's video, I will be reviewing the new Colourpop No Filter collection. Yes, because they have the concealer before, now they just added foundation setting powder and face powder so we'll be reviewing that today but before we jump into into this video if you haven't subscribed to my channel guys not free please subscribe to my channel subscribe if you know you like my face just subscribe okay so with that all said guys let's jump into this video no first up i'm going to prime my face i couldn't Actually, it was after I bought it, I realized Colourpop actually has a face primer and I was like, yo, I was just gotten that. So, I'm going to use my LA Girl face primer. That's what I'm using today. So, let's prime this face first before we get in. So, guys. Let's get into the business of the day. Why right, this is 150. <laughs> so this is 175. This is 170, 165, 150. 150 is pretty light. I just think the 165 is close to me, but I actually feel it's. I don't know, I feel it has more red than yellow, and I usually use uh, more yellow than red, so. Um, which do you think is my shade among this? So just let me know. But I'm going to go work with this one today. The 170. So guys, we're going to start off with the foundation. So let me give you guys the, some of the tea about the foundation. Yeah. The foundation comes in 41 shades. And the dark range, that's really the range where I fall in. They made it actually a lot easier so that you can find your shade. They have referral foundations. Okay. They have referral foundations that you can use to have an idea of what your shade is. So I went with the Maybelline Fit Me Coconut. I haven't used the Maybelline Fit Me Coconut, but I've used the Maybelline um, Superstay, and I will, and I am in warm coconut. So I just feel that would be like close. So I got that, which was one seventy five. I just because a lot of people actually compare the warm coconut and the coconut of Fit Me side by side. So I feel that would be the closest shade to my. Am I rambling? I think so. So that's about it. Okay. So the claim is smooth, you can customize it, you can build it up, it's matte, but it did not say how long. Yeah, you know, so it did not say that part. So the foundation comes with just a pump, which I'm like, eh. I like having a pump and a cover, because I just feel it's more secure. Because if I, mistake, if I don't lock it and... To mess up my makeup bag anyway. I'm going to do one side with a foundation brush. That's one pump. I like the um, pump. The pump is not one of those pumps that. Okay, so I'm just going to use this small brush to apply it on my face first. And I just feel that one pump did pretty well, but it didn't go with my entire face. So, and this foundation is running, guys. Can you guys see? It's so running. So 
So guys, this is it. Me using a brush and this is how it looks. So this side I don't have foundation. I'll say it covers a little bit and I think the color is a little bit off for me a little bit but we can work with it. Mm. I'll tell you for sure using the brush makes it no it's not all that matte though. It doesn't have a matte finish. It still has creamy but it's not like oh your face is mm, it's It's lightweight, that's for sure. It doesn't feel like I have really have foundation on, even though I use a brush. So, no foundation, 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 no foundation. So this is how it looks. I'll say it gives a pretty decent coverage. I'll say this foundation actually has like a skin like finish to it. It's not heavy like you feel like you have a foundation and I'm really really I'm impressed. Like no joke, like I am impressed. Like yo 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 I am impressed. Yeah, I am. I am impressed. I was thinking I won't like it that much but I like it just that the undertone is off for me. And we're gonna make it work, make it work, work, work. So that's about it. So now I'm going to do this other side with a beauty sponge. So, uh huh. You guys saw what I just said. Now this thing is running like it's messing up my entire. Ah, I don't like that part. It's so running. It's super running like. And it's scary, like you think of oh, foundation that is running. It don't have coverage. It has coverage, guys. It has coverage, but it is running. It has messed up my shirt twice now. So I'm, not. I'm using this sponge I got from I think the Unique. I'm going to leave their Instagram name here. Well, oh, hey guys, I love this sponge. <laughs> Is it just me that probably think the this side is a bit more dewy and has better coverage than this other side? And that's what I like about this point. It doesn't suck up your product like guys. Okay, well, let's move on. So guys, this side guys look at the difference. This side with the beauty sponge, this side with this, this one. See why I use sponge always? Guys, this is it. I want to go bold today. So, I normally use deep golden to highlight, but should I? No. Just to balance it out. So I'll be using the color pop no filter concealer. I'll be using the color tan to highlight. So I'm going to use this sponge. This sponge has this edge part. I don't think I'm a fan of it, but I'm gonna try it. I've never tried a sponge like this before. I've never used this side before, but okay. So I also got the Colourpop No Filter Setting Powder in Banana. They have a translucent powder and a dark powder and a banana powder. I'm a big fan of banana powder so that's why I got the banana one. It comes in this small, ooh, it comes in this small packaging and I'm just going to use the um, from the, the setting powder to set my under my lighted areas. I'm just using the huh?
I think this sponge, this side is way better applying powder. you guys know I like going without down and then I press up the powder into my skin let me use the diaper. as usual I'll go with a fluffy brush powder just to dust up any excess powder that's on my face Then I'm going to go to contouring. I only got one shade of their powder. So I'm not going to use that to contour. So I'll be using my usual, my rubber loose powder to contour. So guys, I've already contoured with my rubber loose powder. My gowns. So I just want to actually make my contour pop today. I just skip this part, but I just use most powder makes my cheek dry. So that's why I usually skip it, and I actually don't really like a really defined contour. But today, but doing the most, I think you guys already noticed. I'm doing the most on everything. So I got the um, pressed powder. The pressed powder comes in six shades. Fair light. Blah, blah, blah. So I got dark because I got the dark collection of the um, foundation. So I just feel that would be appropriate for me. At least that's what I think. So this is how it comes in. And this is it. So this is dark, dark, so that's what I'm using. I'm just going to use this to set the rest of my face. Okay, let's not talk now. And I like the fact that it has a mirror, so with a plus. You guys know the way oh, I set up my office. No, it's no. Nehi, 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 that's not working for me. So I'm just going to use this steady foundation uh, powder brush to actually put in my skin. some blush uh oh oh I'm just doing the most today guys like everything I'm just doing is that cool then the hopes with the most <laughs> okay okay is that okay um let's pop some highlights Okay, now first, let me set, let me set the entire face. So I'll be using my Maybelline setting spray. So let's see. To set my face. Okay. 
So guys, I'm done with my face for now. So I'm just going to finish my eyes, apply some lipstick, and put some some highlight, and then come back and show you guys. But for now, let me just let me just clock in now with you guys. So we get the tea. Where's my phone? Where's my phone? Oh, oh, okay. So now the time now is 10:57 a.m. So I'm going to have this for about another six hours. So I'll be coming back like five p.m. and give you guys a full download on what I think about this product. So guys, there's my entire face done. Like y'all, I'm just feeling myself like. <laughs> So I truly like the way this foundation, everything put together, how it looks, how the foundation is, how the banana powder, but the banana powder looks like, oh, oh is it because I use stand, but I just feel my light is like blinding, is so bright and it's out there. But anyway, I like so far how this old product looks and um, I'm going to do a flash test because they claim photo flashback free. So I'm going to... Um, close up the blinds and all that so we try it and see if if it tastes really true as you guys see now it's like total darkness so we're gonna have the flash test okay so guys i'm back the time now it's 5 20 i don't know if you can see it the time now it's 5 27 so this is about six hours 30 minutes i've been wearing this look like yes guys six hours 30 minutes and this is how my face looks after going around in Lagos <laughs> up and down in Lagos this is how my face look like normally I'll get really oily on my around this area the bridge of my nose my my t-zone area I get really oily there and this is six hours 30 minutes and this is how my face has head up so far so guys, my general thought on these products. So far guys, there's one thing I noticed about using this product. It made my pores look a little bit smaller than it normally will. Like, yeah, it, like it really gave you this blurry effect and I am in for it. Like, I love it. And then, me having oils here, yeah, it's normal for me. Like. For me, it's normal. I've not seen that thing that will take the oil away from my face yet. Except I do my powder before foundation routine. That helps the oil on my the oil on my face. Uh, but so far, I didn't do that. But so far, for six hours, thirty minutes, and my face look like this. I'll say it's a bargain. Nothing I know is that like it really makes my face really blurry. I and and I like. Guys, I am so in for that, like, I'm in for it. My face being oily like this, there's really nothing I can do about it. It's my face, I am oily, and but for 6 hours, 30 minutes, and my face still looks like this. All I need to do is to just blurt, and then I'm good to go, guys. I'm good to go. So, I'm going to blurt now, as usual. I'm just going to take my sponge and just presses and let's see if it moves the product ah 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 guys this is it blood not blood oh you, you guys can see the shine but if you see the shine the shine actually has a really really natural glow like i am glowing that's how it looks and i personally i am in for that look like I like it when my skin is like this like all glowy like um, but I like taking out the oil here on my nose so let us just blurt and get so guys this is my face blurt and this is how it looks like I can't really say much about it like I personally I love the foundation I feel I like the foundation the foundation actually give this blur for effect on it it's not very heavy it's not as if i'm wearing anything on my face so i like that about the foundation and um the foundation does not oxidize so i like that too about it like yeah foundation does also it doesn't really move about that much like 
I still have the product on my face after six hours. So the foundation doesn't disappear. It just it just blends into your skin even more better. So I like that. Then um, then the cons of this foundation. I really don't like the foundation because it's running like it's not thick and that really surprised me most times when you get a foundation that it's running like that that means the foundation is a medium is a light to medium coverage but this one i'll tell you it's a medium coverage that is beautiful to a full coverage foundation so it's it's running and for me it's a little bit messy because i already sent my shirt twice so for me it's messy that way then um the pump it doesn't have a cover it's just the pump so after you but the pump has like a lock and open thing on the pump but i would like it better if it has like a cover on top so for me for more security so that, that's my two cons of the foundation i really don't like that about the foundation the foundation doesn't give a flashback so i'm happy about that for the setting powder i like the set like i'll say i actually love that setting powder really has this smooth creamy thing to it I didn't even smell them it has a small scent to it but which is not eh, it's not that bad so I, I really 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 like the powder the color of the powder reminds me of the Ben 9 banana powder and the Sasha buttercup that's how the color looks but I really like the powder. The powder really glides on, really smooth, melts into my skin. I love the powder. The setting powder in banana. I love it. And will I recommend that? Yes, I will. Then, um, the face powder. Ah, uh, I don't know. I don't have, I don't have any, it's just a face powder for me. Like, it's a face powder. There is no biggie, like, I was like, wow, well, I can't live without it. I can live without the face powder. It's not biggie, it's just there is a face powder. That's about it. So this is my entire face using the ColourPop No Filter Collection. This is on my face head. So far, ColourPop is really, really stepping up the game and I'm really, really in for it. The foundation, man, you guys know I've been raving about the Maybelline Superstay Foundation. I think I now find another, another best friend. <laughs> For the Maybelline Fit, uh, the Maybelline Superstay Foundation, I really, really like the foundation. The foundation, I will always like. I'll go for it over and over again. The setting powder, I'll go for it. I can always pass on the face powder. The face powder is just this is a face powder. What else? It's a face powder. Okay. So guys, that is about it. That's my general thought on it. Then there's one thing. Okay, what? There's nothing I don't like about the face powder the setting powder i love the setting powder there's nothing i can't there's no butt on the setting powder but if i notice any other thing about the setting powder that i don't like but for now i'm liking it if i notice on that any other thing i'm going to just drop it in the comment section but for now there's nothing i don't like about this powder i love the powder this one like i said it's just a face powder i can live without it but in all generally like i complain about the their concealer when i did a review on it i don't like white packaging it's messy for me like I don't like it I'll say that's the only thing I don't like about this entire collection put together I don't like the that it's white I can't keep a white makeup so that's about it so guys so that's about it for this video today so if you like that video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if there's any product you would like me to review please leave it down in the comment section i'll try my best and get it to you but don't leave here without subscribing to my channel and then i'll see you guys in my next video bye Mwah.